Okay, see Linda Law videos. TI Inspire, solving a trigonometric function on a specific interval. This is much different than solving many other types of equations because in trigonometric functions, we know that those functions are cyclical. They move up and down like waves. So solving it, those, those values may reoccur. So let's take a look really quickly at what I'm talking about here. So let's say we have this. Maybe this is some kind of velocity function. Let f of t equal 2 times sine of e to the t force power plus 1 on the interval t is greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0, and less than or equal to 6. And we're asked to find when the velocity is 0 on the interval. So it's 0 on the interval, right? So you might just say, well, if I just graph this, I'll be able to see it. If you graph it, if you can see, we want to know when it's equal to 0. It's 0 here, it's 0 here, it's 0 here, 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 and an infinite time, an infinite times past that to the right. So how would you solve that? It's actually really easy, so let me show you this really quick. Go to your calculator and just put in your function. So we had 2, right? We had 2 times, I would be really careful about doing that, times sine of e, make sure that you're using this e to the, I'm going to put t force power, right? t force power. I'm going to make sure I go to the outside of this. This calculator, you have to put everything just right, right? And then after this, here's the trick, and this is where this thing gets really good. You can create the interval by hitting control and hitting the equal sign in here, right there. No spaces, no tabs, no nothing. I'm just going to put in my interval now. Zero is control, equal sign, less than or equal to, I'm sorry, greater than or equal to t. Make sure that your variables match. And t is less than or equal to 6. Here's the part you have to be a little bit careful at right here, right? I think you want to hit tab, and then I'm going to hit control store, and then I'm going to save this thing as f of, be careful, it's not f of x because your variable is t, so f of t, right? f of t. Hit enter. It doesn't seem very exciting. You can check it to see if it worked. f of t, so t, and there's that function back, and you can see on the right-hand side right here that it gave you an interval. Now check this out. Now you can use the solve function on your TI Inspire cast, S O L V E, solve, check this out, f of t equals 0, comma, t. And check this out, it comes back in symbolic language. And you'll be like, oh my God, okay, that's the exact answer that your professor is looking for. If he or she gives you that answer in some irrational form, then all you have to do is hit this hit control estimate. And there's the answer in a different way. So by knowing how to add an interval, to your function, when you save a function, you can get much better answers out of it. There's no way any other calculator could do this. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks. I appreciate it.